I've been asked to make a video about how I built my spotter. So here it is. I hope you guys like it. So about two years ago, I came across this grainy video on YouTube. It looked like there were some sort of keys that were being welded onto a panel. And then you pretty much just uh, use those keys to make the pull. I got to say, I was pretty impressed with this tool, but I've never heard of it. So right away I had a lot of questions, like uh, what sort of welder is being used to tack those keys onto the panel? How complex of a setup is it? How much does it cost? And where do I get it? I was determined to find answers to all these questions and I started my research. So after doing a fair amount of digging online, most of the information that I came across actually came primarily from Eastern Europe. I found some Russian and Ukrainian websites that sold this setup. Now this setup is called a spotter and depending on a model the price for the setup ranges between $1000 and $2000. So when I dug a bit deeper I came across some interesting information on some of the Russian forums on how to build the spotter out of microwave transformers and I was committed to build mine. The main part of the spotter would be best described as a welder that can be cheaply made out of microwave transformers. So first I started checking Craigslist for free broken microwaves. The power of the spotter is determined by the amperage that is being put out by the transformers. I mentioned earlier that the price on the spotters range between $1000 and $2000 while the price had direct connection to the power output. The more powerful the spotter is, the more money is going to cost. So you could maybe get away with using just one transformer, but you would not get very good results. Two transformers in line can be used, but the power output would still be somewhat mediocre. The best results were achieved by the use of three transformers. And since these transformers came out of free microwaves, I did not have to spend any extra money on them. Next step was to get a thick copper cable that I purchased online. It had to be a correct thickness, not too thin, because it has to carry close to a thousand amps of current, where thin wire will heat up real fast and may even catch on fire. But if the wire is too thick, then you won't be able to wind it up in a transformer. So this is my spotter setup. These are the transformers that I used. So just to show you, this is an unmolested transformer that I haven't done anything to. I just kind of kept it as a spare. If you can see, there are two lines. That's where the top of the transformer housing separates from the, the bottom. And in order to separate it, what I did was I took a grinder and then I ground down uh, this weld right here. Well, and on the other side, and then I was able to separate the two pieces as shown here so these are the grind marks and uh, separated the, the two pieces you have your primary and secondary coils I'm pretty sure that this is a secondary this is primary I could be wrong but that doesn't matter the point I'm trying to make is the side with thin wire has to go that's gonna be garbage, it won't be used. And then the side with thick wire will get reused again. Because if you look down in here, the wire that you see down in the bottom is thick. Eh, I can't really move it because I got everything bolted together. I just used a hammer to knock out this uh, coil. I tossed it. Then, next step was, I took this wire right here that went into a recess and obviously without the, the coil pack you got a lot more depth so the wire went all the way down turned it and fitted it into the housing as tight as I could like so and then I went around one more time so if you look in here, there are two windings of thick wire. So two windings and then the thick wire coil pack goes on top 
and then the lid goes back over it. It'd be a good idea to kind of tack weld this plate back onto the housing on both sides. There has to be no gap. It has to be nice and tight. So I ran this wire, coil it up twice through one transformer, then it went into the second one once again, double coil, and then double coil into a third one, and then as, as wire came out of the third one, it went straight out. So I have one of these uh, wires is a positive, the other one is negative. Both wires run out. This is my ground. Got a magnet with a uh, grounding puck in the center. So this way, all I gotta do is just put it onto the surface that I'm working on, whether it's a car door or a quarter panel or a roof. It's now grounded. And then my next step is I work with this puller to work out all of the smaller imperfections. And if you're trying to get an idea of uh, what this puller does is check out one of my videos and you'll see where I was working on a uh, civic roof. However, to raise the roof, I used a bunch of these keys. Now, you don't have to use these. You can just buy washers at Home Depot and then they will work just the same. You zap them onto a panel and then you run a rud or a screwdriver through them and then you use a claw to grab onto the rod and you make the pull. Now these transformers power up through a positive and a negative terminal. There's going to be positive and negative on each transformer. And I wired them up together so all three positives went into one bunch and all three negatives went into the other. And then I used a power cord with a positive and a negative. So the spotter gets activated by a switch with a button that runs through this extension cord. I know it's crude, but for now it works. This is not an exposed wire, it's just a wire that's not being used, so it will never get any kind of power to it. When I push the button, all three transformers get activated, they get power. You can hear them hum. Okay, first I ground it. This fitting goes on here. I will use these keys if I have to pull thicker metal or a larger area. cool to the touch and they are really on there so you see how this fender is dented if I run the screwdriver through I bet you I can pull a dent out
that dent that I just made with a hammer came right out. So here's my spotter. If you guys have any questions, let me know.